we're going to talk about the forehand and we're going to give you a simple tip and we're going to demonstrate this tip by talking about a flashlight pat what do you think if that butt end was a flashlight nick we want that flashlight at some point to be aiming and preferably in the back swing to be aiming at that court we're hitting towards what ends up happening a lot of times is that butt end starts pointing the flashlight off to the side of the court. And when that happens as they're moving to the ball, that triggers the feet to set up yep. in the wrong direction. Now look, look at what we're talking about. The butt of the racket, as you start your shoulder turn, the butt of the racket's gonna come into vision immediately. Now we want that butt of the racket to stay in that position to the ball that's coming to us. On the forward part of the swing, we want that butt of the racket to go out to the target area as long as possible. However, Pat and I both agree, as you take that back, oh, we got that butt showing beautifully. Now, the light is shining that way. What happens? An excessive backswing. Now, the butt of the racket or the flashlight is pointing that way. It's kaput and all sorts of things are gonna be happening, especially if you have to hit the ball on the run. So remember, it's very simple. Keep that butt of the racket in this position so that the ball can see the flashlight. And that flashlight is gonna make contact with that ball here, and that light is gonna be shown out in the direction of the ball as long as possible.